Today is September 1st, and this is BMS News. Good morning, I am Lorianne. And I'm Amelia, and here's the news for today. Hiking Club is changing its name. No longer is it just about hiking, it will be involving anything that incorporates outdoor adventure. If you are interested in outdoor adventure, please see Ms. Sword or Ms. Leonard. This club meets after school on Thursdays. Wildlife, it's a wonderful program full of great fun and great times to meet with friends. The first wildlife is scheduled for September 9th from 7 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. in the Vance Gym and September 23rd from 7 until 8.30. There will be no school on Monday due to Labor Day holiday. You're about to learn, and it's going to be cool, and you're going to be like, hey, I know all about Labor Day. Now, here's our first fact. Labor Day is always on the first Monday in September. It's always on a Monday. So the first Monday of September, it's Labor Day which is a great time for a holiday. I mean, kids have off school, they're able to go outside, it's still nice and warm, and so they get a little bit of break as they're starting out their school year. It's a great time to have a holiday and to play and have fun. Let's look at a quick calendar of the month of September. <laughs> so here's Labor Day, okay? It's the first Monday of the month. Now this is a 2017 calendar, which is the year that this video is being released, which means that Labor Day this year is Monday the 4th. Of course, the first Monday of September. Now, a lot of people think that Labor Day is the end of summer. The end of summer is later on in the month, on the 22nd. It actually alternates between the 22nd and the 23rd. Well, you might be wondering, what is Labor Day all about? If it's not about being the end of summer, Labor Day celebrates the working men and women of our country and the freedoms that workers enjoy thanks to the American labor movement. Look at all the different types of workers, and there are so many more. Labor Day celebrates all of them. The American labor movement began in the 1800s. Here's a picture of a glass factory in the 1800s. Now, in many workplaces back then, the conditions were not very safe, the hours were incredibly long, and the pay was not that great. On the very first Monday of September in 1882, the American labor movement held a parade in New York City. And you can see some of the signs people are holding. They wanted safer workplaces, shorter hours, and better pay. The parade was a hit, and across America there were states that said we think there should be a thing called Labor Day, a day to celebrate the workers of America. And what's amazing is only 12 years later, in 1894, Labor Day became a federal holiday. And do you know who made that possible? President Grover Cleveland. Here's his picture. What a cool guy. He's the guy that made Labor Day an official federal holiday. To review, Labor Day celebrates the working men and women of our country and the freedoms that workers enjoy thanks to the American labor movement. You see, Labor Day isn't about being the end of summer or anything else. It's about the hardworking men and women who make our communities a better place. So just do us a favor, especially if you're watching this as a class, please say thank you to your teacher who cares about you so much and works so hard every day to help you learn. And anyone else that you know that's working hard around you, just say thank you. Because when people work hard, they need to be appreciated and we need to realize that they are making our communities and our homes a better place to be. Students may attend the optional student day aka race camp on September 5th to get caught up on schoolwork. If you are filling a class, September 5th is a mandatory school day. First priority is the youth organization that supports a student-initiated, student-led Christian club on middle school and high school campuses. First priority here at Vance Middle meets in Coach Christian's room every Thursday morning at 7 a.m. If you are interested in first priority, just show up. If you have questions about the club, just see Coach Christian. Now that everyone has a Chai family, one way to earn Chai points is by showing your teacher that you can effectively perform one of the 10 outstanding behavioral habits at VMS. Today's number two of the 10 outstanding behaviors of a VMS student is to show respect for others, comments, opinions, and ideas with your words and actions. 
I've had an experience where I was talking to someone and they butted in over me and ignored my comment. It made me feel awful and like I wasn't important. It happens to adults as well. I had an experience where the teacher called on me to answer a question and when I did, the class kept talking and didn't even hear my answer. It's really rude. Everybody deserves a chance to be valued. So remember, day one was look at a person in the eye and answer when spoken to. And today's behavior is show respect for others, comments, opinions, and ideas with your own words and actions. Up next is Shelby and Hunter with today's sports roundup. The junior Viking football team takes the field against Boone on Tuesday. Varsity starts at 6 and junior varsity starts at 7.30. Cross country has a meet on Thursday. Girls start at 4.30 and boys start at 5. On Wednesday, our Lady Vikings soccer team have a game at 5 against the Blazers. Our Lady Vikings volleyball team has a game at TA Duggar on September 6th. Come out and support all our VMS athletic teams. I'm Shelby Jeffcoat. And I'm Hunter Wiles with today's sports roundup. Next is Zachary with today's Aki weather forecast. According to the National Weather Service, the weather for September 1st will have a chance of thunderstorms and a high of 73 with a low of 63. I'm Zachary with today's Aki weather forecast. Here is Ethan with today's birthdays. Celebrating a birthday today is Payne Ladd and Mackenzie Orfield. And celebrating a birthday over the holiday is Caden Toskins, Robert Emilio, Micah Kennedy, Madison Curtin, Caitlin Thomas, Catherine Ellis, Shaylee Fields, and Madeline Ramey. Happy birthday!